Right now, your next stimulus check could be getting a big boost. What needs to happen next at the Capitol to make it a reality? And that heavier snow starting to work its way on in Iowa. It's on its way to Wisconsin, and we're timing that out in the first one forecast. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, December 29th. Thanks for waking up with us. More snow is on the way. This time tomorrow, there will likely be several inches covering the ground. We've been tracking the system for several days now, and it is all coming together to make a big storm system that's going to start in a few hours. Meteorologist Chris Reese here now. Uh, this is going to cause some major disruptions, especially for travel, Chris. Oh, yeah. Travel across the upper Midwest, particular throughout, particularly throughout Iowa and Nebraska today. Iowa, northern Illinois, and southern Wisconsin tonight is certainly going to be a struggle for us. We've talked about this storm all week. Here it is. And over the last three hours, one thing I've noticed, now this is just the last hour loop, but we've seen more moisture start to come together over the state of Kansas. All of this moisture is getting funneled northward. So we're going to see more and more snow breaking out throughout parts of Iowa, northern Missouri. That works its way towards the north and east as we go through time. Here's future track just showing you how the storm begins to play out. This is 830 right around 830. That's when I expect some of those snowfall bands to begin to intensify. We're talking snowfall rates of one, an inch and a half, maybe two inches per hour at times, likely from eight o'clock to midnight is when the heaviest snow rolls on through. This is out of here by the time we get you towards tomorrow morning, I take a vacation. Gary gets to talk about the next storm that's working its way on into town. That one likely impacts us by the time we get you towards New Year's Day and New Year's night. That could have some similar impacts. We're going to focus on the first storm now. A winter storm warning in effect that starts at 4 o'clock. That gives you about an hour before I expect that heaviest snow to begin to move in. Prairie du Chien, Platteville, Boscobel, it begins at noon for you. And it's going to continue to overspread plenty of cold air. Temperatures are right at 8 for us here in Madison. Other temperatures are at 3, 11 in Platteville, 4 as you work your way towards Boscobel. Here we go. Hour by hour now. This is 530. You see these darker blues starting to move on in. That's the heavier snow. Visibility goes downhill as this begins to move in. If you're sitting on the belt line, you are not going to be able to see much in front of you as the snow starts to work its way on in. Here we are at 11 o'clock. You see that? We got even darker blue. Heavy snow continues to come down, and then as we work our way towards tomorrow morning, that's when a little bit of warm air towards the south may introduce at least a minor period of some freezing rain and sleep before we go right back over towards that heaviest snow. And the heaviest snow band likely sets up right along and just south of 151 and then back towards the south and west. That's where I have us expecting six to nine inches of snow. The closer you are to Platteville, northern Illinois, I'm going nine plus. I would not be surprised if some of the areas in this dark blue shading end up with 10, 11, 12 inches of snow, but I'm most confident in that six to nine frame. Four to eight as you work your way up towards the Dells, three to six in Watoma. Then as you get further north and west towards places like Eau Claire, your snowfall comes down and then again closer towards uh, the lake. And that's where we could see about three to six inches of snow, but we have the alert day and into tomorrow morning. Alert days return to the forecast by Friday. All right, Chris Reese, busy tracking it. We know you love all the snow. Thank you very much. We're also <laughs> keeping an eye on the incoming snow emergencies this morning. Already being declared ahead of the expected winter storm. Snow emergencies for Monona and Marshall both going to effect at 8 o'clock tonight. The city of Monona asking everyone to not park in the street while the snow emergency is active. Sun Prairie also issuing an emergency starting at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Blue Mounds emergency will go into effect at midnight. We have a full list of local snow emergencies and more and how long they're going to last up on our website right now. That's channel3000.com. And for the latest local weather information and forecasts on the go, be sure to download our free First Warn weather and traffic app. It includes all of the latest conditions right from your phone. Just search Channel 3000 in your app store. 
604 now. All eyes are on the Senate this morning after the House passed a bill more than tripling the amount of money in COVID relief millions of Americans could soon relieve, receive. The Democratic-led House passed a bill to increase stimulus checks to $2,000 for millions of eligible Americans. Now it's up to the Republican-led Senate to approve it or defy President Trump. The president held out on signing the COVID relief bill at first out of concern that the $600 checks weren't enough. The Senate could vote on the new bill as soon as today Day, but Republican senators have expressed concerns for the price tag. Raising checks to $2,000 would inflate the total COVID relief bill to more than a trillion dollars. The FDA is giving health care providers the green light to use extra doses of COVID vaccines found in their existing supply. That guidance come after some providers noticed that vials meant to hold five doses of the Pfizer vaccine actually often contain enough for six, maybe seven doses. That's up to 40% more vaccines than initially thought available. The FDA says the extra can be used as long as they don't use more than one vial to create a new shot. So far, two vaccines have been authorized here in the U.S., one from Pfizer, another from Moderna. But now, a warning from the FBI that scammers are looking to cash in. The FBI says some of the most common scams they're seeing include ads or offers for early vaccine access for a fee or paying out of pocket to be on a vaccine waiting list, which does not exist. Anyone who may have been impacted by a COVID fraud is urged to report it to the FBI. You can do that through the agency's website or 1-800-CALL-FBI. Some of the highest risk people in Wisconsin are next in line to get the COVID-19 vaccine. It's been a very difficult year, not letting you know these residents see their loved ones, their family. Um, we, we've been their family for the last 10 months. This vaccine is a little bit of light at the end of that tunnel. Nearly 100 residents in New Glarus received their first shots yesterday. Pharmacies, including Walgreens and CVS, are responsible for transporting and administering doses of the Moderna vaccine to about 200,000 of Wisconsin's long-term care residents and staff. The process is expected to take a couple of months, starting with nursing home facilities before moving on to assisted living facilities. Meanwhile, state health officials in Wisconsin confirmed more than 1,400 new COVID cases yesterday. That's a noticeable drop from Sunday's total of nearly 2,300. 26 more people have died. The weekly average positivity rate is up slightly to 24.6%. Developing this morning at 6.06, a death investigation underway after two bodies were found in the town of Sun Prairie. Dane County officials responded around 3.20 yesterday afternoon to the Pierceville Road area. That's about six miles southeast of downtown Sun Prairie. Authorities say they found the bodies after going into a home. The Dane County Sheriff's Office isn't releasing any other information right now other than that the investigation is ongoing and that you are not in any danger. Names of the two people who died will be released once their families are notified. Stay with News 3 Now for updates this morning both on air and online over at channel3000.com. In Madison, police have yet to identify the man whose body was found this weekend in Rindall Park on the east side. They described the body as a man in his 30s who had no permanent address, but wouldn't release any further information. People out for a walk found the body near the bike path Saturday morning. Time right now is 6.07. Officials in Illinois have identified the three victims killed at a bowling alley shooting in Rockford last weekend. All of them are men ranging in age from 65 to 73. Three others were shot and are recovering from their injuries this morning. 37-year-old Duke Webb is now facing charges of murder and attempted murder. At his first court appearance, a judge denied bond. Webb is active duty Army Special Forces. His defense attorney says Webb will be evaluated for PTSD. He is in the U.S. Army. We take that very seriously. There are some indications of PTSD and brain injury, but he'll be evaluated by a doctor. Police believe Webb did not know the victims. They say Webb is from Florida, but was visiting the Rockford area. According to the Army, Webb joined the military in 2008 and was on leave when the shooting happened. The FBI says it's looking at, quote, any and all possible motives behind the Christmas Day bombing in Nashville. Authorities identified 63-year-old Anthony Quinn Warner as the alleged bomber and are still investigating a motive. Some wonder if there's significance in where the explosion occurred outside an AT&T telephone facility. The blast knocked out phone and internet coverage for much of the area. The FBI won't comment on whether a fear of technology might have been a motive. 
Time right now is 6.09. Pretty quiet conditions out there this morning compared to yesterday, but not quite as bad as what we can expect later today as we take a look at my first warn traffic maps this morning. Showing no major issues across Wisconsin, but we are seeing the problems off to the south and west so far this morning. But good winter driving conditions here across the viewing area so far this morning across southern Wisconsin. We're not seeing any issues on the roadways. Moving along just fine in all the major highways and city streets right now, but that will be changing throughout the day. We'll be keeping our eye on that. Drive times right now, you're moving at those posted speeds. That's your first one traffic. Thank you, Josh. Coming up, dangers on the road. It's not just the snow, how you can prepare today so you don't add to the problem. And later, Chris Reese is telling us when we should be getting off the roads as that snow really starts coming down. He's continuing to track the latest winter storm after the break. Don't miss the Smith Brothers factory authorized New Year's sale on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Select from many styles on our showroom floor or custom order the Amish crafted furniture that's right for you. Happy New Year! The holidays are a time for giving. To your friends. Your family. To your teachers. In that spirit of giving, Chevy's proud to give our employee discount to everyone. The Chevy price you pay is what we pay. Not a cent more. Because giving and giving back is what the holidays are all about. Use the Chevy employee discount for everyone to get a total value of over $8,400 on this Silverado. Get the Chevy employee discount for everyone today. Medical bills. Missed time at work life-changing injuries, household expenses. When you're the victim of an accident, it can feel like the weight of the entire world is on your shoulders. But we've dedicated our personal injury law firm to help take this crippling burden off your back. Habish, Habish & Rotier. We fight for what's right. At Fearing's Audio Video Security, we know your family's safety is your top priority. We are a Wisconsin-based home security provider with over 23 years of experience. Beyond offering superior home security, we had the opportunity for you to make a difference in the world. Fearings will donate 10% of your monthly monitoring to Schools for Haiti. So you secure your home and help educate, feed, and clothe children in the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere. Learn more at fearings.com. Was the holiday season, and as is often the case, magic was found in an unlikely place. Molly tried her best to make introductions. Dad couldn't see past his grown-up assumptions. But thanks to fresh ham and warm apple pie, Dad was finally able to see with fresh eyes. With the freshest assortment to make everyone's faves, the happiest holidays start with Pick and Save. the Channel 3000 First Warm Weather app today. Away from your TV? Not a problem. Get breaking news, weather alerts, and political coverage from the award-winning News 3 Now team. Plus, all things Madison. Stay connected anywhere with Channel 3000, Madison's number one digital news source. Don't miss the Smith Brothers Factory Authorized New Year's Sale on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Select from many styles on our showroom floor or custom order the Amish crafted furniture that's right for you. Happy New Year! Welcome back. American troops serving in South Korea got their first doses of the COVID vaccine just a couple of hours ago. The U.S. currently has more than 28,000 Americans serving in Korea, as well as thousands of other workers and family members there. The first vaccines went to frontline health workers and first responders in the country. Reuters reports this is the second group of overseas military personnel to get the vaccine. The first vaccinations for troops overseas started yesterday with those stationed in Japan. This as South Korea becomes one of the latest countries to confirm the presence of a new strain of the virus. The country is reporting three cases of the variant first found in the UK. This new strain is said to be more contagious, but it's not thought to be more lethal. Vaccine makers say they do believe their shots will still offer protection from this new strain. Germany and Canada 
have also reported new cases of that variation in the last day. The World Health Organization says the mutation of the new coronavirus is normal, foreseeable, and more mutated viruses will be discovered in the future. Researchers at the WHO say COVID could become a common virus in the future, like the cold or flu, and like other common viruses, variants will happen. But all will not be as bad as the current strain. The WHO says vaccinations will play a key part in reducing and eventually eliminating all strains of the virus. The FAA is making some new rules for drones. They'll make it easier for drones to deliver your packages. The new rules will let small drones fly over people at night. Several big companies, including UPS, Amazon, and Walmart, have tested deliveries via drone. Among the requirements that will help address security concerns, the drones will have to be outfitted with what's called remote ID technology so they can be identified from the ground and anti-collision lights. The new rules should start in March. All right, 615 now. Chris Reese has been updating us all morning, all week, really, on that impending snowstorm. Looking like the evening drive might be a little messy there, Chris. Messy indeed. The winter storm warnings have already been issued. They came out yesterday afternoon. They go into effect this afternoon at 4 o'clock for us, noon, as you work your way back towards the south and west for all of the areas in the pink. Yesterday, I showed you this storm. It was coming ashore in California. Now it is over the Midwest. And over the past couple of hours, I've talked about more moisture moisture starting to move in from the south. So here we are. Pay attention to central Missouri as the snow begins to increase there. We're going to watch that moisture stream northward with the added moisture and how quickly the moisture is streaming up from the Gulf of Mexico. That increases my confidence and some very heavy snow as we begin to move in towards tonight um, in the wee morning hours. Here's radar for us right now. Things are generally quiet. Clear skies out there earlier, but the clouds are starting to move on in. Our temperature Eight degrees, dew point at six, the humidity at 92%. We're already starting to see more of that moisture move into the atmosphere. 12 in Janesville right now, all three in the Dells, and then negative four as you work your way towards Camp Douglas. Cold for all of us. Every flake that falls, it is going to stick on that cold ground, at least initially. We begin to look ahead. Temperatures at eight now, 13 by eight o'clock, 23 by 12. And at that point, we'll be about two hours away from the start of some heavier snowfall guys. Yeah, that evening commute's going to get pretty messy. Mm -hmm. We've been warned. Thank you, Chris Reese. 616 now the city of Madison is pleading with people to stay off the city's lagoons and ice rinks until they're declared open. On its website, the city says while the ice may look frozen, going out just isn't safe right now, and it actually slows the opening process by damaging the ice. In fact, the city has been unable to open several rinks at this point, including Tenney Lagoon and Elver Hockey Rink, because of that damage. All the snow coming our way won't be the only challenge for drivers out on the roads this week. There's also the added risk for drunk drivers on New Year's Eve, and that's why they are warning you early to drive extra safely over the next couple of days and stay home if you can. Anyone who still plans to travel should take their time and be as patient as possible. Dane County's public information officer expects less traffic with the pandemic, but says uh, she still has some recommendations. We would just remind you, as always, to either designate a sober driver, um, take public transportation, um, or if possible, just, just stay put where you're at and, and wait till the next day to go home. Officials are actually asking you that if you have to go to the store anytime this week, it's probably best to do it today before the evening rush. People are urged to make sure that their vehicles are also fully equipped for winter driving with plenty of gas and appropriate headlights. COVID-19 changed the face of the entertainment industry in 2020, leaving a deep and costly impact, but that wasn't the only notable story in Hollywood. Chris Martinez takes a look back at some of the top entertainment stories of the year. The coronavirus pandemic forced the cancellation of major music events like Coachella and shut down TV and film production and movie theaters across the country. Nearly all of the year's most anticipated films, including the latest James Bond installment, were postponed to next year. Others, like Disney's Mulan, bypassed the big screen and went straight to streaming. This is my way of living. 
and nobody's going to tell me any otherwise. Streaming services saw record-breaking numbers in 2020, with the Netflix docuseries The Tiger King becoming a phenomenon and the most streamed show in Netflix history. The year also saw celebrities entangled in controversy and in trouble with the law. Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein was convicted of sexual assault and sentenced to 23 years in prison. Lori Loughlin and her fashion designer husband Massimo Giannulli both served sentences for their roles in a nationwide college admissions bribery scandal. How was everybody's summer? Good? Yeah? Mine was great. And Ellen DeGeneres began the 18th season of her daytime talk show with an apology addressing allegations of a toxic, hostile workplace. At the Oscars, Parasite took home the most wins, including Best Picture, the first foreign film to win the top prize. Pop star Billie Eilish won big at the Grammys, taking home five awards, including Best New Artist and Song of the Year. And Schitt's Creek made history at the Emmys, sweeping all the comedy categories, while Succession took Best Drama in a televised virtual ceremony. Fans mourned the loss of some beloved celebrities in 2020, beginning with sports icon and Oscar winner Kobe Bryant, who was killed in a helicopter crash. Here is the host of Jeopardy! Jeopardy! host Alex Trebek passed away after a prolonged fight with pancreatic cancer. He was 80 years old. Acting legend Sean Connery died at age 90. The Scottish actor was best known as the original James Bond. Wakanda forever! And Black Panther star Chadwick Boseman lost his battle with colon cancer. He was 43 years old. That's your year in entertainment. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles. 620 right now and still ahead for us on this Tuesday morning as 2020 comes to a close. Why today's the best time to get those last things done on your year end checklist. And coming up in our next half hour, a new way to visit your local brewery and help keep them in business this winter. Stay with us. I'm possible at Cobus and Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobuson, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit cobuson.com to apply. Well, you took down the tree. That means it's time to put 2020 in the rear view and get to the final days of the Ford built for the holidays sales event. It's your last chance for our best offers of the season across the Ford lineup. So hurry in today. The Ford built for the holidays sales event ends soon. Get escape with zero for 66 financing plus 1500 cash and 2000 trade assist during the final days of the built for the holidays sales event. How do I get you Bob's discount on such great quality furniture? I build personal relationships with my suppliers. Thanks for coming to my kid's school play, Bob. Stop lying for not girl, you're a bad boy. <laughs> I've been thinking. I'll give you that deal on extendable dining sets. I just want to be a real boy. <laughs> get Bob's discount. Only at Bob's Discount Furniture. 2020 got you feeling like your life's on pause? Get moving again at Planet Fitness during our big end of year sale. Join for just $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment. Now through December 31st and end the year on the right or left foot with tons of variety and space in our squeaky clean clubs. And use our app's new crowd meter to pick the best time to visit. Join for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment. Hurry. The big end of year sale ends December 31st. Five Madison area locations. Sign up for $10 a month. Stop in today. Hey, got a great deal at Toyotathon. Got a great deal at Toyotathon. You too, huh? Got a great deal at Toyotathon. Yeah. Got a great deal. Okay. It's the final days of Toyotathon. Yes. Time for you to get a great deal. Right now, during the final days of Toyotathon, you can lease a new 2021 Toyota Camry for $239 a month. To learn more, visit Toyota.com. It all ends January 4th. Toyota, let's go places. On the next live before UW Health's Dr. Jeff Potoff has the latest COVID-19 vaccination news. And smartwatches are all the rage. Consumer Reports shows us which ones are best.
News 3 Now and Channel 3000 put top stories and breaking news at your fingertips. Video alerts and forecasts, simple and fast. Download the Channel 3000 app today. Cobison Buses, now hiring. After we backed that bus out of its stall and started driving, I just loved it. We really get a chance to get to know each other. Almost everyone has a different story about how they came to bus driving. So you really end up feeling like you're part of a family. Visit cobison.com to apply. We're back at 624, trending now. The clock is ticking. It is officially TikTok Day. And no, we are not talking about the app on your kids' phones. Observed each year on December 29th, TikTok Day serves as a reminder to complete whatever you need to do before the year ends. With just two and a half days left in 2020, time is running out. So get busy and check off that unfinished business today. That has me wondering, what do you have left to do this year? We're going to start with Chris Stanford. Chris, I took down my Christmas decorations over the weekend. That was the last thing I had to do before the new year. I like starting January 1st fresh. There you go. We took ours down uh, pretty soon after Christmas too. Uh, a lot more space in the house now. Not as many dead pine needles. Uh, as far as my to-do list though, let's see. I, uh, earlier this year, I put on there, this is before the pandemic and everything. I put on my to-do list, it's a reminder on my phone, to go more places as a family to get everybody out of the house more. And then the pandemic hit, which made that a lot harder to do. So we just not have gone as many places as we wanted to this year. So that's definitely an unchecked item. Leah, how about you? Um, on the list, solve world peace uh, and hunger, repaint my kitchen, uh, and convince Zach to get me a puppy. So I'm 0 for 4, but I feel like a couple of those I might get done in the next couple of days. <laughs> That's good stuff. Thanks, Leah. Uh, all right, 625. Let's go to Chris Reese now. Chris Reese, the snowstorm is going to mess up the evening commute there, won't it? Yeah, that's there to distract me from the folks trying to convince me to get a puppy, but I'm just not down Ooh. for that one right now. Anyway, in the meantime, our radar is quiet. Then you jump towards the south and west, and you say, oh, my, but here it comes. Moisture starting to stream towards the north. That's going to lead to heavier snow starting to develop. Clouds are already on the increase. We're at 8 this morning, and here we go as we go through time 21 by lunch, and this is now the start of that evening commute time. That heavy snow is moving in. Visibility goes downhill. All right, thanks, Chris Reese. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. High Point Steakhouse, Southern Wisconsin's premier supper club. You can still enjoy our award-winning steak dinners with our new takeout and delivery service. We call it the High Point Steakout. Call in your order today. I uh, took down the tree. That means it's time to put 2020 in the rear view and get to the final days of the Ford built for the holidays sales event. It's your last chance for our best offers of the season across the Ford lineup. So hurry in today. The Ford built for the holidays sales event and soon. Get Explorer with 0 for 72 financing plus 2,500 cash back and 2,000 trade assist during the final days of the built for the holidays sales event. Do you take daily prescription pain medications, but they don't help enough? Do you want more options to better manage chronic pain? University of Wisconsin-Madison Stamp Study offers free, safe, therapeutic programs to address chronic pain. The programs occur once a week for eight weeks and pays up to $340. Call 608-212-6902 today. Again, that's 608-212-6902. When it comes to 2020, it's time to wipe the slate clean and get a fresh start now at Herzing University. Earn the degree you need for a lasting career. Herzing is accredited, transfer friendly, and offers you the personal care and support so important during these times. We'll even waive your enrollment fee. A new year, a new career. You've got a clean slate. Impossible at Herzing. Call or click today.
Waking up to stuff like this should never be a surprise. Watch News 3 Now First Warn Weather so you always know what's headed our way. At News 3 Now, we've been asking antenna viewers to rescan TVs in order to receive our boosted broadcast signal. If you're still experiencing problems after rescanning, you may need to install a UHF VHF combined antenna. For more information, please go to channel3000.com. I may never have met you. We don't go way back. Maybe we wouldn't even be friends if we did. But when you wear a mask, you have my respect. Because your mask doesn't protect you. It protects me. I wear my mask to protect you. Mask up, America. High Point Steakhouse, Southern Wisconsin's premier supper club. You can still enjoy our award-winning steak dinners with our new takeout and delivery service. We call it the High Point Steakout. Call in your order today. Right now, we have team coverage of a winter storm headed our way, how the city is preparing the roads, and how much snow we can expect. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, December 29th. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Stanford. Thanks for waking up with us this morning. I'm Leah Linshine. The big story we've been tracking all morning, all week, really, the winter storm coming our way. We have team coverage this morning, so you can prepare for any travel you might have planned today. Let's start with the state of area roads at this hour. Street crews in and around Madison actually started getting ready for this storm yesterday, making sure they're all loaded up with everything they need to treat the roads today. The plan is to pre-treat some of the high traffic areas ahead of the snow, depending on how wet the roads are this morning. Okay, so a live look here at what is headed our way. This is from the top of a building in downtown Omaha, Nebraska. It's a messy morning commute for folks there. Chris Reese, you've been saying folks here might want to wait to uh, actually uh, leave a little bit early uh, for their evening commute because this thing's not timing out too great. No, it is absolutely not. So if you have the opportunity to leave early, take advantage of that. This morning, roads are going to be all clear. Temperatures are around 7 degrees, uh, so maybe a neighborhood road might be slick. But by the time we get you towards this afternoon, snow is starting. Roads are turning white all over again. That likely sticks around with us as we move into tomorrow morning as well. Here's the storm. I've been watching this hour by hour. You're talking thunder sleet developing into parts of Kansas. That being said, you're seeing lightning and thunder with the storm system. That gives you an example of just how strong and potent this low is. It is strengthening right now as it begins to move towards us. Point out what's happened, what's happening over parts of central Missouri over the past hour. I've noticed the snow really beginning to increase across the mid state of Missouri. That's the moisture being pulled northward. That's going to lead to more development of heavy snow. We're clear right now, but the snow will be moving in in about 10 hours. Here, let's take you hour by hour. This is 730. Temperatures warm up towards 11. Now we're at 330. We might see some light snow on radar, some flurries. A lot of this isn't reaching the ground yet. The heaviest snow is back towards the south and west. Now we start to move in later on. By about 5 o'clock, it's reaching the ground. This is 930. Darker blue showing up on our future cast. This is when those snowfall rates are going to be about 1, 1 and a half, 2 inches per hour, especially from Madison and points towards Towards the south. Now we're at five o'clock in the morning. The further south and east you are, the better chance you have for a brief period of a wintry mix before things begin to wind down as we move into the later part of tomorrow. But I want to show you visibility. This is four o'clock. Visibility is all good in Madison, just towards the south and west. Visibility is going down. And by the time we take you into the overnight time frame tonight, your evening commute, visibility is going to look like this. Goose eggs for a lot of folks as the the wind is going to be blowing as the snow continues to come on through and we keep that lowered visibility around into tomorrow morning before things begin to get better. Snowfall amounts because that's what everyone truly wants to know. I'm expecting four to eight inches towards the north. Places like the Dells, Baraboo, Portage, Poinette, four to eight inches. Keep in mind, you got to respect the low end of the totals too, but that's the good range for where things will be. Three to six inches just towards the north and then six to nine inches from the southern half of Dane County 
and back towards the south and west. This might be one storm where I expect Janesville to get a little bit more snow than Madison, but all of us have the potential to see six to nine inches here, and it's possible that if a band sets up that's heavy enough, we end up with 10 plus inches of snow. So we've got to watch that carefully for sure. In the meantime, clouds on the increase bundle up. If you're headed out this morning, the temperature at eight in Madison, 12 for Janesville, Lone Rock and the Dells both waking up at three you get towards Camp Douglas. That is where temperatures are below zero, but do be prepared as that winter storm comes in moderate to major impacts all around for all of us. That is why we have the alert day in the forecast for today and tomorrow. We're going to add alert days to the forecast for your Friday. Friday as well. We may be doing this all over again with another storm. Guys. This is like multiple Christmas mornings for you, Chris Reese. Yes, thank you very is. much. <laughs> right now, several communities in our area are already declaring a snow emergency before the snow even starts falling. Overnight, the city of Sun Prairie declared a snow emergency starting at 3 this afternoon. That means no parking on any city street will be allowed until at least 6 Wednesday night. The city of Monona also declaring a snow emergency last night. As of now, Madison has not declared one. We'll be keeping an eye on updates throughout the morning, and we have a running list up right now on channel3000.com. So right now would be a great time to get the first warn weather and traffic app. It'll give you updated forecast and travel conditions for your location and localized weather alerts straight to your phone or tablet. You can get it for free in the App Store. Also developing this morning, we're keeping an eye on this as authorities continue a death investigation in Dane County right now. Two bodies were found in the town of Sun Prairie late yesterday afternoon just outside of Cottage Grove. Authorities say they found the bodies after going into a home in the area. The Dane County Sheriff's Office isn't releasing any other information right now other than that the investigation is ongoing and the public is not in danger. The county medical examiner will release the names of the two people who died once their families are notified. A vigil will be held this afternoon for the three people killed in what police are calling a random shooting at a Rockford bowling alley. Those victims range in age from 65 to 73 years old. A 62-year-old man and two teenagers were also hurt there. A judge denied bond yesterday for the man accused in the shooting, 37-year-old Duke Webb. Police say Webb is an active duty member of the Army Special Forces and was on leave visiting family in Rockford. They believe the shooting was random. Webb's defense attorney says a doctor is now evaluating him for possible PTSD and brain damage. The U.S. Senate will meet today to debate whether to send more money to your bank account. The House of Representatives voted yesterday to increase COVID relief checks to most Americans to $2,000. Many House Republicans ended up joining with Democrats to vote in favor of the increase, which was encouraged by President Trump. The proposal, though, will face much, uh, a much challenging uh, task, though, in the Senate, which is controlled by Republicans. Uh, many members, including Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson, already voted against increased spending. We have talked a lot over the last few weeks about how you can help restaurants survive as they wait for that next government lifeline. One of the ways local businesses have tried to adapt is by embracing outdoor dining, even in the winter. You might have seen these igloos pop up at several local spots over the last few months. Carbon 4 Brewing on the east side launched their igloos for their outdoor patio about a month ago now. After a pretty slow start, they say they're now completely booked almost every day. We have to evolve. This thing isn't going anywhere, uh, and we've been given the tools here to evolve with the pandemic, and we're doing it. How Wisconsin, huh? Igloos? So after guests leave, the brewery leaves a 30-minute window open so staff can clean and disinfect everything. You do need a reservation, and that will cost you between $35 and $55 on top of whatever you order. Restaurants say that helps them cover the cost of heating and maintenance. One of the things 2020 will be remembered for are calls for change. Certainly, the death of George Floyd over Memorial Day weekend and the shooting of Jacob Blake sparked outrage across the country, including here in Madison. Here's a look back at how those events unfolded over the summer. Madison has joined the growing list of locations where protests are happening. This is a much, much different scene than we saw even 10 minutes ago. be deployed. I mean, hit, really hitting people close on there. Oh, no, like a lot of Let's go. Gabby, are you okay? This violence does nothing to support the interests of social justice. Oh, damn, damn. A lot of people out here are 
emotional and they're showing it in all different ways. Madison's racist, the United States is racist, and this is racist. We're moving out of the way because there are people with bats. Sorry, I'm trying to do my job. But you can still see the smoke just billowing. You're gonna hear a bullet ignite. What is it about this moment that has pushed it to this break? I think Eric Franke asked a really great question there in the midst of everything that was happening that night. You know, what brought us to that moment that led everybody to uh, kind of release all of that uh, emotion? Uh, I think that was a great question. and. You know, uh, although that video was very uh, intense and rather dramatic, uh, there was also a very a peaceful and calming sense that was coupled with, with that energy. Don't you think, Leah? The events over the summer certainly started a conversation, mm -hmm. and that conversation is continuing. For example, in the city of Kenosha right now, the Kenosha County DA has not announced whether charges will be brought against Officer Rustin Chesky in the shooting of Jacob Blake. But in the meantime, Kenosha's police chief and mayor wrote an op-ed for the local paper asking for peace when that decision comes. They say they don't know when that will happen, but they know emotions will be strong regardless of the outcome. Both say they can't tolerate the kind of violence that stretched for several nights in August. Other leaders in the community say they're also anxious as they wait to see what happens. I hope we can get justice for Jacob Blake. I hope we can continue to get justice for our black and brown communities around police reform. Kenosha's police chief and mayor say they've been working with different organizations on a course forward since those happenings over the summer. One of the Madison activists involved in the calls for change over the summer says she is running for city council. Brandi Grayson says that she plans to run for Alder in District 14, which covers parts of the South Side. That seat is currently held by Council President Sheree Carter. Grayson is the CEO of Urban Triage, and she's already picked up an endorsement from longtime Madison Alder, Shiva Badar. Now this morning, Madison is providing a pair of furs to the state legislature, new representatives Samba Balda and Francesca Hong were just sworn in by Governor Tony Evers yesterday. Baldo will be the first Muslim to serve in the state legislature. Hong will be the first Asian American. Both ran on the idea of adding diversity to the legislature as they tackle issues like racial justice. They'll serve two-year terms at the Capitol. The board in charge of statues at the state capitol is set to consider approving a statue of another trailblazer in Wisconsin history. Val Phillips was the first black woman to graduate from UW's law school. She was also the first black woman to be a judge in Wisconsin and served as Wisconsin Secretary of State, too. There's been a push lately to honor her with a statue at the capitol. A board will meet on the proposal next month. If they approve it, plans can move forward for fundraising and choosing a sculptor. 641 right now the first warren team has been busy tracking the incoming snowstorm and i want to give you an idea of where we're seeing some impacts already in the upper midwest right now as we take a look at my maps southern south dakota all of nebraska northern kansas are already seeing those snow covered roads this morning and we're starting to see iowa especially in the southwestern part of the state starting to pick up some data on the department of transportation maps and all of this is heading our direction later today so far good winter driving conditions here in wisconsin so what can we expect later today Today. Well, as far as what our impacts are going to be in our hazards later today and into tomorrow, we're going to expect those slippery conditions and breezing conditions, especially overnight tonight. So make sure that you do have a tight grip on the wheel and make sure your defroster is ready. Make sure you have that scraper in the car because you never know when you're going to need it. Here's a look at your travel forecast for today. Again, morning commute looking good. Even lunchtime, if you have some errands that you need to run, last minute errands, you can get them done. And by the time the evening commute ramps up later on today, we're going to be in the yellow and red for the evening hours as that snow continues to develop. Let's take a live look outside right now. As we mentioned, quiet start out there to this Tuesday, but Chris Reese is updating the timing and the totals coming up in his forecast. And the Packers are turning points into cash for a good cause this morning. We'll tell you why coming up after the break. Ashley Home Store's biggest New Year's sale starts the day after Christmas. Save big on our latest styles store-wide, including holiday door busters like these. Plus, take a bonus 5% off our sale prices at checkout and no interest financing for five years. Only at Ashley Home Store. The holidays are a time for giving. To your friends. Your family. To your teachers. 
In that spirit of giving, Chevy's proud to give our employee discount to everyone. The Chevy price you pay is what we pay. Not a cent more. Because giving and giving back is what the holidays are all about. Now through January 4th, use the Chevy employee discount for everyone to get a total value of over $8,400 on this Silverado. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. Unity Point Health presents Things you need to know about healthcare workers They're real people just like us They have houses and families And they like to eat spaghetti At least I bet they like to eat spaghetti They care for everybody Even people they don't know They might worry about getting sick Their family, their patients Tell them thank you By wearing a mask and social distancing Thank you healthcare workers Unity Point Health Meritor A partner of UW Health Know how much you matter to this world Bone chilling. Back breaking. Breathtaking. Winter weather can be a lot of things. But it should never be a surprise. Watch News 3 now for an accurate forecast you can trust day in and day out. And when safety is an issue, you'll hear about it first and fast. First born weather. Always reliable so you can plan your life. Connect with News 3 now on Facebook Messenger to create a personalized news feed just for you. The topics you want, the day's top stories, and push alerts for breaking news all through Messenger. Learn more at channel3000.com. News 3 now takes you inside Wisconsin's COVID crisis beyond the statistics. I just can't even imagine how scared and how anxious my mom must have been. Hear deeply personal stories of people who've experienced it, including one of our own. Names behind the numbers, Friday at 4 p.m. Furniture and Appliance Mart's biggest New Year's appliance sale starts the day after Christmas. Find huge holiday savings on top brand appliance doorbusters like these, plus 18 months financing and guaranteed delivery in five days. New Year, big savings at Furniture and Appliance Mart. 2020 has been a year unlike any other. And as we navigate the holidays, we hope you find joy and comfort. In the smiles of loved ones and the laughter you share. In the tastes, smells, and sounds that kindle warm memories. And in cherished family traditions, both old and new. Here's to those who can't be with us. And until we can be together again, wishing you and yours a happy, healthy holiday season from all of us at News 3 Now. Quarter to seven, the high-powered Packers offense has scored a lot of points this year. Now it's leading to something good off the field. Check this out. The new team is partnering up with Sargento Cheese in a program called Touchdowns for Hunger. Sargento donates $2,000 to hunger relief in Wisconsin for every touchdown. And after Sunday night's win, the Packers have scored 52 touchdowns this year, leading to more than $100,000 in donations so far. Sargento, uh, great Wisconsin brand and the Packers teaming up to give back to the community. Uh, so this year, uh, 2020, the Packers, this goes along with uh, their mission for 2020. They focus on different areas every year to get back to. This year, they are focused on the elderly, homelessness, human services, and hunger. I know, cheese, do your hunger good, Leah. <laughs> oh, you better believe it. Anything with the word Sargento in it, I'm a fan of. I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, this will convert our Minnesota native Josh into a Packers fan. What do you think, Josh? Vikings who? Just oh. kidding. <laughs> I will always be a Vikings fan. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you guys know I am I'm a proud Minnesotan, so I'll always be a fan of my Minnesota sports teams. But I do do love how much the Packers are giving, and I love how specific they give or they get into giving with those organizations. I love that. Yeah, very deliberate. They've given to 24 different nonprofits in Dane County alone mm. this year, which wow. I think is great. I know. So let's check in with Chris Reese. Uh, Chris Reese, we're gonna need some comfort food. Maybe <laughs> stay in over the next 24 hours or so in the snow storm hits what do you think I, I would encourage that especially for tonight the winter storm warning is in effect and it really starts at four o'clock that's when things are really going to begin to ramp up for us and then we go through the overnight hours on Saturday I showed you this storm out over the Pacific Ocean I said it's going to track through Southern California dig through the Rockies and move towards the upper Midwest that is exactly what has happened and we're going to continue to watch this storm as it moves in as we go through the next couple of hours heavier snows already
already breaking out throughout parts of southwestern and central Iowa. The moisture increases and we increase or we look at heavy snow overspreading the region as we head into tonight. That being said, Enjoy the calm weather while it lasts. Eight degrees, clouds already on the increase this morning. Humidity at 92%. That's a sign of that moisture starting to move into the air. 12 in Janesville, 12 in Viroqua, 2 in the Dells. Camp Douglas still 4 degrees below zero. Here's what to expect as we look ahead. 13 by 8, 18 by 10, 23 by 12. At that point, we will be just hours away from the snow moving into the Madison area. All right, Chris Reese, thank you very much. Coming up in the morning sprint, we'll have the latest on a death. And here's a look at who's three today. Happy birthday, Alice. Thanks for sharing uh, your birthday with us on uh, News 3 Now this morning. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back. Before you make plans, download the Channel 3000 First Warn Weather app. It's the Portage Furniture Store's New Year's Sale on now. Get top name brands for every room in your house at guaranteed lowest prices. With Serta Queen sets from $3.99 and always free delivery. The Portage Furniture New Year's Sale. Open New Year's Day 11 to 4. Finally home. <sighs> okay, let's go. Come on. Yeah. Welcome to the final days of Toyotathon. Here for a great deal. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, the wait is over. Oh, Camry. <gasps> yes. Right now, during Toyotathon, you can get 0.9% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2021 Camry or 2021 RAV4. You can get a great deal, too, at Toyotathon, but it all ends January 4th. Toyota, let's go places. This is the big one, folks. The Brothers Main Everything's on Sale sale. Right now, you'll get everything from Whirlpool, Maytag, KitchenAid, and Amana with blowout savings, like a Maytag washer for $3.99 and a Maytag dryer for just $3.99. And you'll always get more from the Moore store, like our risk-free 30-day price satisfaction guarantee. The Everything's on Sale sale, with more selection, more savings, and more satisfaction on everything. Now at the Brothers Main, your local store for more since 1938. Your parents spent years taking care of you, but as the years go by, it becomes your turn to take care of them. This might mean trusting a nursing home, which promises to care for them as cherished loved ones. But if the nursing home you've chosen is not keeping their promise, we can help. If your parents have been injured in a nursing home, call Habish, Habish & Rotier. We fight for what's right. Crafting our authentic fragrances begins with ingredients from the earth to create fragrances infused with natural essential oils. Airwick scented oils connect to nature. Over time, things wear down. Tires, brakes, and headlight bulbs too. Sylvania's lighting experts know that if you wait until burnout, you'll lose up to 50 feet of visibility. That's from here to here. In darkness, switch to a new pair of Sylvania bulbs today and see better tonight. All right, we are back. It is 6.52 and it is time for the morning sprint. We start with Chris Reese and a check on the snowstorm headed our way. Hi, Chris. Good morning, Leah. Good morning to all of you. Winter storm warnings go into effect officially at 4 o'clock. That's a sign of when the heaviest snow starts to move into the area. Every county that you see shaded in pink has a high probability of at least 6 inches of snow. That's the low end. And then where you have those winter weather advisories, that's where you're talking up to 6 inches of snow. We're watching the snow move in from the south and west. It's only a matter 
matter of hours before it gets here. We're mostly cloudy and at eight right now. We're timing it out and talking visibility at the end of the spread. Thanks, Chris. Now to the latest on a death investigation in Dane County this morning. The sheriff's office says two people were found dead at a home in the town of Sun Prairie just outside of Cottage Grove Monday afternoon. They haven't released any other information yet. Other than that, they say the investigation is ongoing and the public is not in any danger. We'll have updates as they come in both here and on the Channel 3000 mobile app. Another death being investigated in Madison. Police say a man's body was found this past weekend at Rindell Park on the east side. They described him as a man in his 30s with no permanent address. People out for a walk found the body near the bike path Saturday morning. Police have yet to release more information. A Madison man accused of killing his sister last Christmas Eve is headed to trial. Court records show Joseph Green had a not guilty plea entered on his behalf as he stood silent yesterday. Green is accused of shooting his sister at her home on Midvale Boulevard last year. He allegedly called 911 saying his sister had been shot. He was previously found incompetent to stand trial earlier this year, but he did pass a competency test last week. In D.C., the Senate will meet today after the House passed a bill to increase COVID relief payments to $2,000 for most Americans. Yesterday, many House Republicans joined with Democrats in voting in favor of an increase called for by President Trump. The proposal, though, faces a stiffer challenge in the Senate where Republicans, including Ron Johnson in the Senate, have already voted against more spending. More than 2 million ballots have already been cast in Georgia's runoff elections for their two Senate seats. Those numbers cover early voting by mail and in person. Election day is a week from today, January 5th. Control of the Senate is at stake. Republicans need to win at least one of the two races to maintain control. Governor Evers is swearing in Assembly Democrats in a virtual ceremony. Evers met with the Democratic caucus through Zoom Monday, swearing in new members like Samba Balda and Francesca Hung. Those Madison representatives will be the first Muslim and first Asian American to serve in the state legislature. Republicans did keep their majority in the Assembly and the Senate in November. TSA says more people got on an airplane Sunday than at any other point during the pandemic. More than 1.3 million people went through airport security that day. That has health officials both nationally and locally worried that the darkest days of the pandemic could still be ahead of us. Dr. Jeff Pothoff at UW Health says if anyone caught the COVID or caught COVID during the holidays, they'd be their most contagious right at New Year's. Final look at traffic at 655 this morning. If you're heading out right now, no major issues out on the roadways. Seeing the typical delays for this time of the morning commute. Your drive time is looking so far so good on this Tuesday morning. But later today, things will be changing. There's your travel forecast as we go throughout your Tuesday. You should be good for the morning and noon hour, but evening commute looking slow. That's your first one traffic. And Josh has nailed it by talking about that evening commute and the single digits now 21 by the time we get you towards lunch. This is four o'clock. That's snow starting to work its way on in from the south and west. It comes down heavy at times 8 o'clock to 9 to midnight to 1 a.m. I'm expecting 1 to 2 inch per hour snowfall rates before things begin to wind down. Folks, we're talking visibility that goes down to a quarter mile, half a mile, and a lot of goose eggs for a time. Thank you very much, Chris. Folks, stay up to date on that storm and how it's going to impact your drive tonight over on our first born weather app. We'll see you tomorrow.